Hello, I'm Rob Pugh and I'm a Teva Tools Ambassador and I just want to talk to you quickly about Teva into Lightroom. So plug in our cable to the camera all the way through to uh, the computer. So let's jump on over to Lightroom and let's get it set up for tethering. So when we're in Lightroom, what we need to do is we need to go to File once we've opened it. Uh, we'll come down to the Tether Capture and we're going to do Start Tether Capture. This is going to bring up a box and what we can do here, we can name the session. So I've just named it Tether Tools. Uh, you can change the, the file names and the, uh, the file numbers if you wish. I've pre-picked uh, a location for the photos to go to. So here you would just pick the locations where you want the photos to go to. Any keywording that you want to do, then you can place your keywording in here, or if you've got some pre-metadata, then you can automatically load that up and everything will be loaded into the image when it comes into Lightroom. Press OK. You can see here at the top of the screen, it's telling us what camera we're using. Um, it's telling us what our f-stops, our shutter speed is, and if we're using flash as standard. Now we can trigger the uh, camera from this little button here, if we wish, if we had it set up on a tripod, or we can handhold it and do our shoot, and it should come straight in. So let's get the first shot out of the way and let's see it come into Lightroom. So this is the image, it's loaded straight into Lightroom and we can see here our exposure. Um, we've got our histogram on the right hand side so we know if we're clipping uh, with our highlights. And then we can also zoom into the image to check our exposure. So that looks uh, good enough for me and we can see the leaves are, are nice and sharp. So there we have it. So that's tethering to Lightroom. So make sure you head over to Lightroom, check out the compatibility of the camera that it works with Lightroom or whether you need to use Capture One. So head over to the Teva Tools website and check out the compatibility of the cable that you will need for your camera. They also have a, a guide to tethering, uh, which will make life a little bit easier on how to tether to your computer. So thanks for watching, check back soon and make sure you take a look at our other videos on tethering.